Hey guys, thanks for coming back. Today is Vlogmas Day 8, and in this vlog, I'm going to be showing you how I realistically squeeze my cleaning routines into my workday. So if you're interested in that, then you'll want to stay tuned. Good morning, friends and family. So today is, what is today? The 8th? Vlogmas Day 8. And for today, I've decided that we're going to do a work day in the life. So, um, we just did our before school morning routine. The kids are at school now, and it's going to be me. You'll see hubby walk back here in just a minute with no pants on, let me turn. And hubba hubs, we're gonna be trying to get our work day done. So let me show you guys the status of my house. Right, so we got the dishes done this morning. I got that done in my before school routine, but look at these hot spots, yo. The hot spots are looking cray, but um, I did what I can do. I can't spend all day on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go start my work day and I will be taking breaks today and I know what I need to work on in terms of routines. I'll also be creating a plan. We're in zone two, so I think I'm gonna be working in the refrigerator today and I know that I want to also do mopping for my weekly home blessing so I'm gonna go write all that down and think about how to fit all of those things into my day today but before I do that I first have to wrap presents Let's see what are we gonna wrap today I'm like so proud of myself my little collection is coming along and I feel very much like these Five minutes of morning will make me feel so much more peaceful and at ease when Christmas comes. So it's just been really, feeling really nice to see our little pile of Christmas gifts slowly disappear. Today, we're gonna wrap. I think we're gonna do a puzzle today. I remember when I was a kid, my grandmother on my mom's side used to have this Christmas Eve ritual. She would go shopping for all of her grandkids the night before Christmas, and then she would proceed to wrap all of the presents. And that's actually how I learned how to wrap, not so beautifully, of course, is because sometimes she would recruit me in her efforts. When I was a kid, I never really thought anything about it, but now as an adult, I realize how incredibly difficult and challenging that was and that she really went out of her way to make that special. But with that being said, you do not have to wait till last minute. So get this done, guys. All right, so I just got my computer open. I'm going to write a to-do list, and not even that, just like a plan of action for today. I'm even gonna plan what this video is going to be about. I know that um, there are some moms out there who want to like create more vlogs and create content, but they feel like time is of the essence and they don't have a lot of time to do it. And I've been doing Vlogmas for one week and I have definitely had some revelations, one of which is plan what aspects of your day you want to talk about. Um, it's definitely difficult when you feel like you have to take the camera around with you for every little thing you do. Um, and that's not necessary. And you can actually make a pretty full juicy vlog. I might even just write like little things that I know I'm gonna be working on and I will just circle the things that I want to take you guys along with. So just a little tip for those of you guys who are also interested in making content. So I'm gonna get started with that. I wish this will never be over. Darling, it's time for your present. Come over here. Now it is time to get out in the snow. Lighting a light with you. Choir. All right, so here you will see me working on my weekly home blessing task of the day. Um, if you know what I just sprinkled into my mop bucket, go ahead and drop your comment down below. I will know that you are a real OG. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to do my weekly home blessing task. You guys, I really try to get this done in 10 minutes or less. That's how I help myself not procrastinate and say, oh, I'll get it later because, you know, it's realistic to me to just take 10 minutes out of my day to do this um, some things that you will notice is that i do not prep whenever it comes to this now i do this quite sensibly of course i'm not going to be mopping over wet spaghetti or anything weird like that most of the things that's on my floor are like um st like sticky stuff um, and like prints and stuff that need to come off and then there's also like a lot of dried dust you'll see that here yeah, this area is really bad. So don't forget, you guys, I have four kids. This floor can get 
kind of bad but um yeah i really try not to prep because that used to be one of those things that would make me procrastinate and feel like oh i don't have time to do this and then um i realized that that's crazy you would rather have a dirty floor than to go and mop and do a horrible job at it so um i've really come to the point where i'm just like nope we're gonna do a horrible job and we're gonna make it better and i'll show you guys what the end result looks like but i use my mop to do its job which is to get all the sticky weirdness off my floor and I also use my mop like a broom and so to the best of my ability I will just push those little dust particles out of the way and then when I'm done I'll vacuum them up vacuum them up the reason that I do it in this reverse order is because I realized that when I tried to do it in the proper order I would always be left over with dust and weird particles anyway so instead of vacuuming before mopping and vacuuming again I just cut out a step and I just do all of the vacuuming at the end so I can see everything that needs to be vacuumed and then I get it done. And so if you did not know my little secret and you saw my floors, you would notice that they weren't perfect because you can't really make anything perfect in 10 minutes, but you probably would never be able to tell what order I got this done in. And anything that helps me just get in, get out and avoid procrastination, I am here for it. So this is the result. Reverse mopping. If you don't have a lot of time, this can really be better than not doing it at all. And as I mentioned, it's not perfect, but it's better. Hello. I feel like every time I record a video, there's always a cabinet open. Hello and welcome back. Um, so it is currently 12:27, and I am on my lunch break and I have eaten a sandwich. Okay. Just keeping it fast. Keeping it simple. Um, I know what the kids are eating for lunch, so I don't need to worry about defrosting anything, putting anything in the crock pot. We're just doing um, like I call it quick pizza. We have two different types of pizza. We have one that's where I make the crust from scratch and then we have one where I make the crust out of a can. So that's the one we're having today, the canned pizza. What I want to do now is try to make more forward motion with my home management goals and I'm going to be cleaning the fridge. Oh, that's like one of my just like least preferred tasks. So I'm going to set my timer. For 20 minutes 20 minutes i'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes and see what i can get done in 15 minutes and uh, if i feel like i want to do more i can always come back tomorrow and do some more and then after that i never really felt like i got the closure on my morning routines that i needed we got the dishes from the morning started i tossed the load in the dryer that needs to be folded and just like some general like pickup okay that's for my lunch but like that's a hot spot right there and so part of my morning routine is to make sure my hot spots are empty or at least as empty as I can get them and so I just want to kind of go through and find like random stuff that send my hot other hot spots um to do like a quick tidy and so I'm gonna see if I can do all of that before I go back to work all right let's go all right, so in this part of the video, I'm going to be spending 15 minutes working through my fridge. Um, you know, there's only so much you can do in 15 minutes. And so what you'll notice is that I was able to get to those top three main shelves and then I have a bottom shelf where I put my kids' food and I was able to get to that. But I was not able to get to the side doors at all, nor was I able to get to those two big drawers. And that's okay because I plan to come back tomorrow and finish where I left off. So I just really want you guys to start thinking about projects around your home like this instead of feeling like I can't clean the fridge because it's too much work. Stop looking at it as one big project and ask yourself if you're willing to work on it for a set time frame and then be okay with, with whatever you end off. I know this concept can be hard for a lot of you people at first because you know we were kind of told that it's not okay if you're not going to do it well don't do it at all 
but if you don't have a lot of time, learning to take small bite-sized chunks out of larger tasks is what is going to save you if you want to not feel overwhelmed with your home. So if you remember earlier, I told you guys that I wanted to see if I can finish up my morning routine. So that's what I'm working on here. Usually I try to do the best that I can to get my dishes done, do something with my laundry and do something with my hotspots. But I'm finding that on work days, it's not um, smooth as I hope that it would be. Sometimes this morning routine can literally take me all day, but I find that as long as I keep fighting and I keep trying that overall it is working out for me and it still is better than before I had routines around it so if you feel like that I just want to encourage you to keep going and not give up so this is me preparing that pizza that I told you about that my toddlers decided not to eat and it's okay I'm gonna go to bed now I'll see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 9